Welcome, today we're up on Captiva Island on the tween stretch on the bay side at the mouth of the Roosevelt Channel and Pine Island Sound. I'm really excited to show you this home today. What's so special about this home? Well, it's residential living but you're in a condominium development. So you have all the easy maintenance, the amenities that the condominium has to offer, but you have your own separate home within the development. That's what's so special here. You've got deep water boat dockage, you've got the beach out front, you got the community pool, all the maintenance is taken care of for you, the land, the landscaping, the exterior maintenance, the roof, all that's taken care of by the condominium association. So the cost to own is much lower. Your insurance cost, much lower. That's the beauty of this property. It's easy living, but you've got your own residential home. So you just turn the key and lock the door and you don't worry about it. So let's go take a look at this one. This is a special property for Captiva. A little bit different than what you normally see out there, but very special. So let's take a look. So before we go inside, I want to tell you a little bit about the structure. It's a piling home. So the first level is non-habitable. There's storage space down there. There's rec space down there. We've got a three-car garage. You see two doors, but there's a tandem space. So back to back, maybe for your golf cart or again, three cars. Then you've got some rec space down below. There is an elevator in the home. So you'll see that it goes to all three floors. Again, what's really nice about this is the condominium association takes care of all the grounds. They take care of all the exterior, the roof. You just pay quarterly fees, especially for what a home normally costs. The fees are pretty reasonable and attractive. So let's go upstairs. So right when you enter the home, the first thing you see is the views. You're right at the Roosevelt Channel and Pine Island Sound, the mouth. So the views are spectacular. You look over Buck Key, spectacular views, amazing views. You get sunrise and the sunset. You're a Golf to Bay property, so you get to enjoy the best of all worlds with the Golf to Bay, the beach out front and the bay in the back with your dock that you can put a boat. So you come in, you've got this great foyer area. You pass by the elevator that goes to all three floors. You notice the flooring. This is a travertine marble, which is really nice, kind of timeless, great quality throughout. The lay of the land is you've got the master on the first floor right over here. And then you've got a fifth bedroom or a den, laundry room and a half bath. So the home has five bedrooms or four bedrooms with a den easily set up as a five bedroom and it's got four baths with one half bath. You've got 3,500 square feet of living and about 6,300 square feet total. Upstairs, you've got three large suites with their own bathrooms and a great family room, entertainment area with a little kitchenette, all that. We'll go upstairs and you can see that, but let's go back to this floor. Fireplace, great room concept, a lot of light. All the windows and doors are impact. 2007 built, so not that old. So the style is Mediterranean, but it's a soft Mediterranean. Mediterranean is very popular on the island. It's either old Florida or Mediterranean. This is a soft Mediterranean. So furnishings wise, decor wise, you can just do your own thing. That's all cosmetic to your liking, but it's got a great feel to it. The home is on a Lutron system. One touch on, one touch off. You can pretty much program that to your liking. So we got electric blinds here on these sliding doors here, looking out over the bay, and you got some electric blinds at the foyer area. But easy, easy living here. Again, all impact windows and doors, great quality, great construction, custom cabinetry. Love this bar area. It's nice and high. So when your guests are sitting down, you feel right with them about the same height. Very functional kitchen. So appliances, all high-end appliances. You've got a Sub-Zero refrigerator here, Wolf appliances, your stove, your oven, cooktop here, microwaves, just a great setup. Your dishwasher's right here, nice sink right here, and you're overlooking the bay the boat activity. What's great about the bayfront, I like bayfront as much if not more than the gulf front. Just because you've got all this wildlife, you've got this marine life, you got your boat right back there. That's the beauty of our area is getting on a boat and going out on that water. Now we go over to the dinette area. This is a great place to have your morning coffee, your morning breakfast, dinner. I mean, look at the view.
Now we go back out to the patio. I love these sliders because they pocket all the way back, opening up to the outside. This set too pockets all the way back. Easy to do. And then again, look at the view right here. Look at those boats out there. No better spot to be at than the mouth of the Roosevelt Channel and Pine Island Sound. This is the beauty of Captiva. You've got it all here. You've got the beach in the front. You've got the bay in the back. You've got your dock. You can go out, watch the sunset, catch a, a green flash even. So again, the beauty of our area is the boating. It's great. We've got incredible beaches, but the boating is what's special here on Captiva in Southwest Florida. You've got Cabbage Key, just a boat ride away. You can only get there by boat. So it's a boat ride away. You Sepa, you've got Boca Grande, 20 minutes away, Pink Elephant. Restaurant up there, fantastic food. Again, so many places to go to by water, not by car. And that's what's special about these areas. The other thing we're known for is our fishing. You can go right off this dock, just throw the line out and catch a fish. You got manatees, you got dolphins, you've got all this beautiful marine life right out your back door. That's what's special about this location. That's what's special about these islands. That's what's so special about Captiva. So let's finish the tour. So inside, again, very neutral, soft Mediterranean, high ceilings, about 10 foot high here. And then you've got this big foyer area looking up to the second floor, which we're gonna go to next. Um, you notice the staircase going upstairs, but it also goes downstairs to that lower level that we talked about, where the garage space is, where the rec space is, lots of good space down there. So again, master over here, really nice master. Got a little sitting area, great master bathroom area. A lot of great quality. Let's go upstairs. So we're coming up the stairs. We get that transition from the marble travertine down below to the nice wood floors up here. I believe these are cherry. And then you've got this great little family room area, kitchenette, TV area, media room. Your elevator goes up to this floor and then your three bedrooms. What I like about this home, there's not a lot of wasted space. It's very compact for its size. Again, about 3,500 square feet of living and then 6,300 total. You've got a front deck here that gives you a little bit of a peekaboo of the sunset of the beach in between the villas up front. So a really nice layout here, little sitting area here. Again, you can see the beach, you can see the water, you can see the sunset and you're on the bay side. So again, the home has a Lutron system. It's also on Sonos. We've got a full house generator that if we lose power, the generator clicks on. You've got a water filtration system in this home. A lot of great features, amenities that were thought of that makes your living much more comfortable and easy. So again, elevator here, bedroom here, bedroom here, bedroom here, all with their own baths, nice size closets, nice size rooms, and they all lead out to the patio. So let's go take a look at the patio and the views. So now we're out on the outdoor patio, the rooftop deck, which is really nice. Like I said before, you get sunrise, you get sunset, and you get views of both from this home. You get great views of the dock. You see people paddle boarding, you see people kayaking back here. That's what's really nice about the Roosevelt Channel. You're overlooking Baki. It's just a great spot. What's nice here too is you're right down from the world famous Mucky Duck and the world famous Green Flash. Green Flash, Tim McGowan's doing a great job there. He's the new owner there, does a fantastic job. Another place that you can just come up by boat to. So a lot of great places to enjoy. The village of Captiva is right up the street, the bubble room, the Civic Center, our new performing arts center is going up right now. The beaches, the shelling, the sunsets. It's got everything you want. It's an incredible lifestyle here in Southwest Florida on Captiva Island. No better place. Also too, right down the street here, just a few doors down, we've got Tween Waters, which is a local resort. It's a fantastic resort. You got the steakhouse there and other dining options. You can sit by the pool and have a drink, whatever you might want. It's just a great little place to stay if you're coming to Captiva before you purchase this home. And then we have our yacht club, which is right down the street also too, that you can join. And if you like golf, well, We've got the sanctuary close by, which is incredible. It's a private club you can join. There's different memberships there. And also we've got South Seas, which is opening up soon. Five-star resort gonna be again. So we're really excited about some of the things coming to Captiva and the islands in general. A lot of great things happening here. It's gonna go to another level. 
You know, I've mentioned a lot about the bay, but let's get to the beaches. Sanibel and Captiva is known for its shelling. We're considered the shelling capital of the world. Our beaches on Captiva are different than Sanibel. One of the big differences, sunsets right in front of you. We're facing pretty much due west. And the beach sand on Captiva is a little bit more sugary, I think, than on Sanibel where it's a little bit more powdery. The water clarity, I think, is amazing. That curvature of the island, the tides, just how the islands are shaped. I think the water clarity on Captiva, it just seems more Caribbean-like. I love the beaches of Captiva. The other big thing about Captiva beaches is we re-nourish them. So you're always going to have a beach out in front of you because we re-nourish them every seven to 10 years or when we need them. So that's a value there, a big time value there that you're always going to have that, that beach out in front of you that also serves as protection. So what'd you think about this home and lifestyle? It's pretty special, isn't it? So if you like these videos, follow us, subscribe, like us. And if you'd like a private tour, give me a call today.